A bedroll under a bridge, an old mattress on the ground. It's what keeps an unknown number of Milwaukee's homeless out of the elements. But it's also a health hazard for those people and others. Empty beer cans and liquor bottles litter the area, and police say so do used syringes and human waste. And there's a growing rodent problem. So the city plans to move the homeless out. Police told the people living here that their materials had to be out within 10 days. They posted signs, but those signs have already been torn down. There are two homeless camps in the city, one near the Intermodal Station downtown and the other at 25th Street. Police say city public works crews will remove the camps in the days ahead, but no one knows exactly how many people will be displaced. What happens to those people now? Well, I think the answer is um, sometimes we move before we put the next piece of the puzzle together. James West of the group Repairers of the Breach says it's up to the city, the county, and various advocacy groups like his to try to ensure this new initiative to clear out the encampments does more than just relocate the homeless. To get them in for resources, you know, maybe not to just right away we're removing you, but um, they're, they're dealing with some health issues that they're not dealing with, that they're not dealing with while they're under the bridge. 